Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. So this will be a general read. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. You'll find my email below this video. Okay, this card. New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Mm. Okay, things are getting quite um quite interesting here with this person. Um this card can really symbolize dreams, uh, romance, soulmates, poetry, but it's fantasy. Because Pisces is a sign of mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism and hope, um, hopeless romanticism. It can be a sign of uh, water and the unconscious. Um, it's, an, it's a time when someone is listen, trying to listen to their feelings and to allow their emotions free reign. So it's not about being told anything. It's about this person looking within uh, Libra on a very deep level because Piscean energy is extremely emotional. It's a water sign and they're meditating and contemplating a lot on their emotions. So this person might be, um, they might, you might see them, their walls are coming down, I feel, okay? I feel like you're breaking through those barriers. Piscean energy can be extremely vague, yes, uh, but I feel, in one aspect, this person is wanting to, to break, um, is wanting to let down uh, their, their guard and, and open up their vulnerabilities because it is a time, a, a meaning for this card is, is it's, it's a time to surrender to the divine, um, to face your fears or a situation that might be healing back, but it's using feelings to help guide them. So yes, this person is tapping into their emotional side, but at the same time, I do sense that there's a vulnerability or a side to them that's quite sensitive that you might have not seen before, but you'll come to see or you'll come to explore. Okay, the Devil card with the Fool, interesting. The Six of Cups with the Lovers card. Okay, wow, this is intense. The Devil card, this is Capricorn energy. In particular, you've got Gemini, Aries, and Cap that has come up for you. But let's look at the symbolism behind the Devil card. This is toxic energy, links or behaviors. Um, something that's taboo or hasn't been spoken about, hasn't really been mentioned, will come to the forefront. Now, I'm not sure if someone's going to reveal to you that they were in a very abusive or a toxic relationship. I'm not sure if there's someone feeling like they might be manipulated here. Um, because the devil card can be power or control. Someone might feel like you're influencing and it, um, their thoughts, their emotions, but it's also obsession. Okay, it could also be that someone's getting more obsessed or more attached to you. Very strong attachment. The lover's card is here, so soulmate energy coming through. But I definitely feel like there's, there's for some of you out there, and it might not necessarily be a cappy, but there might be someone here that's feeling the devil energy. So it's either you've encountered toxic energy or you win, and someone wants to move on from that, the full card. Or they're really meditating or reflecting. If you've had any transgressions or barriers in your relationship, this person hasn't let go of them yet. In fact, whether it's um, pain or heartache, or control or manipulation they're experiencing with you or whether it's with someone they're, uh, they've ex experienced with in a previous relationship, they haven't let go of that yet. Emotionally, they're still carrying that. So if you see this, you'll know why. Because I think someone's done this to them. Someone They've been in a very dark phase in a relationship and these feelings are emerging again. I don't know why they're resurfacing. Could there be something that occurs during this time? There might be. Okay, you've got the full card. Now, the fool jumps into things willy-nilly. It might be someone that's feeling like they're a fool in love. Okay, there's definitely someone that's lost a bit of sense of control of their thoughts or their emotions because it's almost like a fool in love that they feel like they're surrendering or they're very very submissive uh, to you um, or they want to surrender to you. Again, this could be part of that concept of them letting their walls down because this would mean them letting you in and having... Um, not that you would have power over them, but when we have, when we understand a piece to a person that's very intimate or very sacred or very private, we let them in and suddenly we give them power to do what they want with that information, whether to encourage us or to heal us or to use it against us, to use it in a spiteful way. And it's an element of someone becoming more vulnerable and surrendering and letting down their walls because the full card is here and the full card is 
often seen as irrational and he surrenders to something because he feels the desire he feels that he needs to surrender so there might be someone here that feels like you've, you're just going to have a real strong power over them and they'll feel like they're not necessarily forced to open up because i feel like he's holding the white flower but someone i don't feel like they i don't think they if they um, they've realized how much you mean to them and this is going to potentially shock them and they might feel a little bit foolish or, an, or embarrassed, uh, embarrassed. And for some of you, it's almost like um, what just came to me is that like friends might say something like they're wrapped or they're obsessed or they're whipped in some way. I don't know why that's coming up, but I feel like someone might feel like that. Um, but for some of you, there is a bit of a toxic energy here. And I do sense that there is someone that feels possibly manipulated or feels like they're being puppeted, puppeted or played. The fool card is is played. He's a jokester. He's a trickster. He's, he can manipulate. He changes things. He's there for pure entertainment. So someone might not feel like they're being treated seriously enough. So I'm wondering if this is you doing this. Um, Libra. But look, let's look at the other side of the spectrum. Pisces is dual energy, so this might be one extreme to another this person might be feeling, but this is very powerful. There's definitely someone here that believes you're a soulmate. Is this why they're letting down their guard or why oftentimes with soulmate relationships, they tend to be very, very complicated? Um, well, there's a lot of power struggle coming in because they are very intense, very emotionally charged connections and or relationships. But there is at least someone that feels like you're a past life connection or that you're a soulmate connection to them, um, which is really quite powerful. Uh, the Six of Cups, there's someone thinking about family life with you. They're either wanting to move in with you, want to start a family, want to introduce you to their children. There's someone that's thinking about the future here i think they're meditating and contemplating on this um but what is children children is innocence um children is tenderness um it's almost like they feel like a child when they're with you libra you do something here to them you do something here to them that they feel giddy uh, they feel excited uh, they feel like they're very present in the moment. So um, I feel like there's something that you have about you. And as an air sign, this is often the case. You have this energy and it rubs off on them. And it feels like they're taken away from, in, from responsibilities, from the hardships or the challenges that daily life poses. And suddenly they feel like a child again, filled with excitement, um, with inspiration. And, and we know that children are very much in the present moment. And I feel like you make, you evoke these emotions in someone and they feel this way. But this could also point to a past life connection. Um, nostalgia and familiarity come up as well. Some of you actually have a lover from your past that's been thinking about you or wanting to reinitiate contact again. So there's a longing or a missing here. They're wanting to, um, they're wanting um, romantic feelings to blossom or romantic ten tendencies between the two of you to be evoked once again, Libra. Uh, this is what this person is wanting uh, with the Six of Cups energy. because a new moon is all about new beginnings and this is something being in its early stages. Some of you, um, someone's feeling like they want more romance or they want to reignite romance. You might have been together through a lot. You might have done a lot together, but there's definitely someone here that's wanting um, to re -spark, you know, find the spark or reignite the spark, which is quite nice to see. And you also have the lover's card, Gemini energy. Uh, soulmate energy coming through here which is very powerful someone's definitely in love someone but let's look at the um, symbolism here this is Adam and Eve exposing themselves um, stripping down and, and you know this this is this is who I am take me as I am so again their guard is coming down they're vulnerable and they want you to accept them as they are with all their flaws imperfections obsessions tendencies um, all their downfalls, all their downfalls and all their strengths, they want you to accept them as they are. So, I mean, this is quite deep, actually, Libra. 
Um, it's, it can also be a sexual energy. It's creation. It's a primordial energy. It could be something to do with children and or pregnancies as well. Planning children or a future. Um, but someone definitely wants this, this relationship to work. They've been thinking about it more and more. New moon. They're wanting, they're wanting a more emotionally charged connection with you. And they've been thinking about it, fantasizing about it for quite some time. And I think with the lover's card, this is coming up because this is oh, it's Gemini energy. Gemini doesn't tend to think too long term ahead, but they are very much in the moment. Of course, they can be prone to um, anxiousness, as can any air signs, because they are ruled by the mind. Um, they can be quite um, adaptable, quite mutable, ever changing. So I think this is coming around this person, but if they're feeling like the lovers, then there's definitely someone that's a bit of a smitten kitten around you uh, that is wanting the commitment. The first of its kind, Adam and Eve, very, very nice. They feel like there's, um, they feel like they're being divinely guided to you in some way through the universe, the angels, or this person might even tell you that they've been wanting to attract you for quite some time and have finally done that. Um, they finally have won the Law of Attraction Lotto and they've gotten you and they might have written a list about you or the features that they'd like their future partner to have. And I can say with um, with confidence that you fill this list. You absolutely meet the criteria of what they were wanting to attract into their love experience. And you are it, Libra. So that's uh, very nice to see with the lovers card as well. So pure love. Okay, children bring purity honesty and innocence so someone is feeling a very pure and a very pure connection with you so that's very nice to see um, i will leave it at that however i hope this reading has been insightful thank you so much for connecting i hope you've enjoyed it and i do hope we connect very soon so thanks again everyone and bye for now